day 30. Today's our final day of our study of healing. I'll probably be teaching healing in the future and, and so forth, but I'm Pastor Glenn Curry, and we've been together for 30 days learning about healing. Jesus explained his purpose for even coming to the earth. In John 10.10, 10, Jesus said the thief, that's the devil, came to steal, kill, destroy. And maybe you had an apple out of that barrel already. I know I have. But he said, I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly, an overcroppage of life, the God kind of life, zoe in the Greek, okay? And so in order to offer believers life more abundantly, Jesus had to destroy the works of the devil as far as we're concerned. In 1 John 3, 8, I like this. It says in King James, for this purpose, this is the reason the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. And I hope you know by now that sickness and disease are the works of the devil, okay? The NIV says the reason the Son of God appears was to destroy the devil's work. And there's a, a translation called the Jerusalem Bible, and it says it was to undo all the devil had done that the Son of God appeared. Phillips translation, and I like Phillips, it says now the Son of God came to the earth with the expressed purpose of liquidating the devil's activities. Wow, we want the devil's activities liquidated in our life, in the area of our prosperity, our sound mind, relationships, healing, all that stuff. All right, so let's make some affirmations together, and I'm just giving you samples of what you should be doing, because you must personalize it and internalize the Word of God so that it becomes one of your operating systems in your life, okay? So install the correct software, the Word of God, into you. Sickness is a work of the devil, and Jesus came to destroy the work of the devil. Amen? I mean, we read the verses. So say this. As far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, sickness has been dissolved. Sickness has been broken. Sickness has been annulled. Sickness has been undone. Sickness has been liquidated and destroyed. I know I didn't give you time to speak that with me, but rehear that. Write those things down or look in your U Bible and you'll see the different translations. You'll see that all the terms I used dissolved, broken up, annulled, undone, liquidated, are all in tr different translations of the Bible, okay? Jesus put an end to sickness for me. Say that. Jesus put an end of sickness for me. Let me let's just say this. The activities of the devil have been destroyed in my life. You know, God's greatest wish for you is that you prosper and be in health. It's hard for people to understand that and wrap their mind around it because so many Christians are broke and so many Christians are sick. But 3 John 2, Jesus, uh, the, uh, the Apostle John said, Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Now, listen what it said. The degree that you're going to prosper financially and in other areas of your life, favor and so forth, and the degree you're going to prosper in the area of your health is as your soul, which means your mind, will, emotion, imagination, prospers. That's why we've been loading our mind, our soul, with the scriptures that we've been looking at the last 30 days, okay? Joel 2, or Job 2, 28 says, Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established or manifested for you, unto you, okay? And so de decree this with me right now. I am prospering and I am in good health. I am prospering and I am in good health even as my soul prospers. I believe in healing. I believe in healing. See, we've got to get the mind to gravitate to the Word of God instead of, oh no, now what's going to happen to me, okay? Health and healing is God's will for you. God is at work in you today uh, doing His will and His good pleasure. So let's say this together. God is in me working in me, God is in me, working in me, curing me, mending me, say it with me, repairing me, restoring me, healing me, and thoroughly making me whole. We looked at that uh, maybe day one to three uh, in this teaching. 
And we saw that God said, I am the Lord that healeth thee. And King James. And one translation said, I am the Lord your physician. But Strong's and uh, Thayer's uh, lexicon brings out the fact that it means I am the Lord that cures you, mends you, repairs you, restores you, thoroughly makes you whole. Okay. So today ends our 30-day devotional on healing. And I'm ready to give you another 30 days, but this is enough to bring healing and restore your and renew your mind to the fact that God wants you well and has made provision. And so I just thank you for watching. I'm, I know that many of you have already been healed. I know that many of you are already on the way and the rest of you are on the way of recovery. And so I'm going to be making new videos uh, of victory and so forth. And you can watch my app um, and hear my daily podcast if you'd like to. And so I say this, let's release our faith for healing right now. Jesus set a point of contact for us that we would believe we receive it. What things soever you desire when you pray, not when it happens, not when you see it, not when you feel it. What things soever you desire when you pray, believe you receive it and you shall have it. All right. Father, in the name of Jesus. I speak healing to my friends, my brothers and sisters in Christ right now. I say that they're healed by the stripes that were put on Jesus. I say that your promises are true for them right now. I command them to be healed in the name of Jesus. Saints, if you'd like to help bring healing and blessing to others, tell your friends about this systematic uh, teaching that we've been doing for the last 30 days. And uh, be sure to subscribe and like below. If you have comments, make the comments. I love you. Have a great, great day and be healed by the power of God.